Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Cortec Adrenaline GP Full Gauntlet Race Glove. The Adrenaline GP retails for $199 as of the time we're shooting this video. Please understand we don't update videos for pricing changes, only when a product itself has been completely redesigned. This is part of that all new summer 2020 Corona Apocalypse gear release from Cortec. They have really stepped it up, and this is another fine example of just that. This is going to be their full gauntlet race glove that uses a combination of cow leather as well as goat skin here in the palm, right? To bring you a full gauntlet glove to go with their leather jacket and the two new leather suits they have released. Let's talk about sizing first. I normally wear a 2X in most common gloves out there. These are a 2X. They fit and feel great right out of the bag. That's gonna be one of the real strengths of this glove. A lot of dexterity and just feel good the first time you put them on. Features and benefits. We'll start off with the palm sliders. This uses the latest version of the Knox palm slider. We've talked about this a million times, why those are on there. Most of us, when we fall, instinctively, you're gonna put your hands out to brace for impact. With a standard glove with a leather palm, that leather can just kind of grab the pavement. It can pull the seams of the glove apart. It can grab and then start a tumble. And you can also damage the scaphoid. It's a little bone in there, you break it, it's low blood flow and it just takes forever to heal. It's no fun. So. I really like to see those on any track-oriented glove. Lots of protection in that area. You can see we've got some overlays here, and the spots where your hands touch the bars are the control levers. They've used Kevlar thread on this glove for reinforcement. Also, you're going to see super fabric is used strategically in several places, Okay, especially right here on the pinky. That's another super vulnerable spot. That stuff is really hard to wear through. It's backed up by some energy absorbing foam, so you have a lot of protection in those areas as well. Lots of dexterity here in the wrist. There is a tunnel system for the knuckle protector. That knuckle protector's you know, got kind of a medium density, so it's gonna absorb the impact, but still it kind of moves with you. To protect the end of the ulna, we have a nice plastic detail here, and it really doesn't get in the way. Got a safety strap. 360 degree gauntlet adjuster up here at the top. Plenty of adjustments gonna work with any, any suit size, okay? External seams for comfort. If I had any knock on this glove, what would it be? Really not a lot of ventilation. Is that a make or break it feature? I don't think so. You know, I do like to see some stuff in between the fingers. It helps bring air into the glove, just introduce some cooling. These don't have it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. They have added some cool max right inner lining that does help to move away moisture right and just keep you feeling cool and comfortable i like this glove i think as with several of the other products in their current release tremendous quality and value is found at this 199 price point you make these a different brand different logo on them they're going to be at least 260 bucks if you have any questions leave those in the comments section of this video I answer all that stuff myself and i'm always here to help you choose your next pair of gloves